have Nickelback LVR 2010. This is Tita. She's not going to speak to you. And we're going to be reading Jeannie B. Jones for some awkward reason. Although we're only going to read a chapter because I really don't feel like being on this too long. My hair's already messed up. Uh, it's... What are you doing, you idiot? Bounce on the ground. What are you doing? I thought I was supposed to be reading a book. Okay, read. Okay. We're going to read Jeannie B. First Grader Shipwrecked. I really don't know why I'm reading this. I'll try to add as much dialogue as possible. Quit throwing that at me! Bre Chapter 1. Breathing germs. You don't quit throwing this Yu-Gi-Oh card at me, I'm going to shove it down your throat. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> You're weird. Okay, Bre Chapter 1. Breathing germs. Friday. Dear First Grade Journal, Today is the end of the week. Mr. Scary is taking attendance. Attendance is a school word for who isn't here today. There are lots of children out sick in room one. I'm going to count them, I think. Nikki, Tita, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I will be back in a minute. Okay, here's a teensy problem I just ran into. Because how can I count people who aren't here? On the of they didn't show up, apparently. Taking attendance is harder than it looks. From Judy B. Bye. First Grader. Bye. Put down my pencils and think about the situation. Only, I didn't have time to concentrate hardly because all of a sudden there was a noise on the other side of the room. I turned my head to look and splat out a boy named Roger throwed up on the floor. It was the disgustingest thing I've ever saw. I'm going to murder you in your sleep. Because I know you're asleep because I'm in your bedroom. boy named Roger throwed up on the floor. It was the disgustingest thing I ever saw. Also, the air did not smell delightful. Do we have my nose and close our eyes? Like you have for me, do I dumb bunny eyes and brain have their own? They kept sneaking pizza splatto. It was Cheerios, I believe. Finally, I put my head on my desk and I covered up my arm. Only then, only just then, more trouble happened. Nikki, quit it! Ooh, bubbles. The boy named Sheldon couldn't stand the splatto, and so he jumped from his chair. He went straight out of room one. That was a surprise, I tell you. Mr. Scary ran after him, brought Sheldon back in the giffy. The jiffy. Then he was kicked to call the school nurse, Mr. Zeller, on the phone. And he told them we need their help right now. Hurry! He said, fast! I don't like this at all. And so, Ms. Mrs. Weller zoomed to room one as fast as a speedy rocket. When she heard of Roger, she talked to him in a calmy voice. And she said that everything was going to be okay. Roger hanged his head real embarrassed. I felt sorry for that guy. Also, he's making me ill. Finally, Ms. Weller helped him get up from his chair, and he held his hand. She took him to her office. After that, room one, room, ugh, room one could not do any work. On the count of how can you work with splat on the phone? Only hooray, hooray, because soon our camera is like... Hey, dude, that look cool on the camera. No, know what? Screw reading a book. <laughs> I don't care about books. Actually, I do, because I love books, but I don't really care. My hair's messed up. Hey, Nikki. Hey, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, my we'll back later.